It's coffee. And, but right. that episode when um, Iyana was on there, <laughs> that was my shit. I'm so happy. Give me that. <laughs> so what, Iyana? You came over. Did she fix the children' line? Girl, where is Miss Miss E fixed uh, Tamar? She said, "Wait a minute." Calm down. You are going to respect her because she is an elder. So I don't, I don't deserve respect. Wait a minute. That mom said, wait a minute. She said, you say one more thing and I got you. <laughs> that's, that's what Mama E told, told Tamar. And Trina said, but Mama, she said, Trina, I got this. <laughs> she, she said, okay, Mama. Oh, you what? <laughs> Bitch. Yo, can you read that for us again, please? She said, wait a minute. You are going to respect Ayama because she is your elder. So I don't, I don't, I don't deserve respect. That's Tamar. And then Trina was like, "But Mama, she said, Trina, I got this." She said, "You say one more word, and I got you, and I got you." That's what she said to Tamar. She, she said, "I'm gonna smack the piss out of you, Craig." But you got, and the Emmy nomination goes Baby, to. Hey, that was my favorite scene. Girl, I want to award you for that. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> Free and clear. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But then that, that was one of my favorite episodes. But yeah. Because because Iyana was like, well, who gets to correct her? Who gets to correct her? That's what Iyana said about Tamar. Now you're gonna have me go back and watch. Bitch! That, that was the episode. Great. Bitch! That was the episode. Yes, God. I remember the episode that we sat on our seat for what. I really want the show to come back. I do too. I enjoy it. I, I remember the episode where me and my mother sat on the edge of our seats when um, when uh, Tamar spoke about uh, her stepmom mm. and um, and all that stuff. And my mama was sitting there watching, like they were still trying to heal from the daddy. Yeah, going on to that mm -hmm. new woman mm -hmm. and bringing that new woman into the into their lives. And like me and my mama sat there and watched that stuff. My mama was on the edge. Yeah, watching that, you know, yeah. and it was like it was so many learn learning, yeah, learning, opportunities, you know, opportunities. So many moments, like here on this show, teachable moments, teachable moments. We're black; it can be learnable. <laughs> you go to school to learn. Learn me. <laughs> Find myself a good man. <laughs> now I'm over you. Really? <laughs> mm, 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 mm. You mistreated me, baby. Miss Juanita. That was her name? Uh-huh. Not buying them, though. Speaking of Juanita. Juanita had her own problems. Speaking of Juanita buying them. She ain't been the same since that parking lot that time. What happened in the parking lot? Remember that man that she was married to got to fighting on her in that parking lot? He ain't fight on her. He whooped her ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difference. He ain't fight on her. He whooped her ass. And the cousin pastor sat right over there in that corner, back there in that back room, and said, "Bitch, she, since she's got all this, this since she can see it prophesied, so but why she didn't see that fist covered to whoop her ass <laughs> on that man?" And I fell out all over that table. No, but you know why she couldn't see that ass whooping coming? Because she was so busy seeing the punks out there, the audience to try to send them home from church. That's why all these prophets and prophetess can't see the trouble that's going on in their life because they're too busy out there looking at the congregation with all the punk sissy fags and homosexuals out there that they want to send home from Christ. <laughs> and when my God, ha yada bo shata, when my God comes back and splits the sky, the very elite will not be lifted up in the rapture. The very elite will not be lifted up in the rapture. I need you to understand that the very elite will not be lifted up in the rapture because they turn so many peoples away from the ever living love of God. Uh -huh. They turn so many peoples away from God with religion and not relationship. The very elite shall be here trying to grasp for food. The very elite will be over here, honey, being tempted with the mark of the beast. Hey, ya, ba, 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 cha, cha. Mm. The very elite. Right. In the streets, it says she was a lesbian anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Girl. <laughs> they had said she was a dagger of boo. <laughs> a truck driving lesbian. <laughs> 
Bernice. Right, the kind of wear plaid shirts. Bernice them. Drives a Subaru. Oh my God. <laughs> Why not a Bronco? I don't know. The a Ford like, Explorer. Leslie is like them Subaru. No, they like Navigators too. Uh huh. The black ones too. <laughs> the white was like the Subaru. <laughs> And the white was like them, like them, like them, like them sandals that look like you rock climbing. You know them rock climbing sandals. The white lesbians love them rock climbing sandals. Y'all know which ones I'm talking about. They all strappy. <laughs> Got the grip on the bottom. Bitch, are they sandals or sneakers? <laughs> are they sandals or sneakers? <laughs> Girl, speaking of if they sell as a sneaker, let's talk about those pointed shoes that Kim Burrell wear. <laughs> Baby, we don't, I don't know how we move from the church. Girl, we're here, here now. We're here now. Girl, it, girl look Baby. like Kim is on Ozempic. Baby, oh, 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 Ozempic, you know, bitch. Yeah, when I say she's small and thin and bobbleheaded like a motherfucker around there, bitch. When I say that's a bob, that bitch is bobbleheaded like a motherfucker. That whole head bigger than her shoes. <laughs> girl, girl, I had the paw. That girl, head. girl, girl. Girl. But she was out there singing, though. I want to hear you say, you motherfucking faggots ain't going to keep talking about my weight. They going to be talking about my weight and my hair. Because <laughs> if my head gets smaller, maybe the wig will, too. Right. Maybe I can get a shortcut, honey. Mm. Baby, oh, the way, around. baby, the way Yolanda has said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, not me." <laughs> what she say? The way Yolanda said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, not me." I don't play with the gays like that. You may, right? And she went up there on Tamra Hall and Tamra pulled her together. <laughs> really? Wait, what happened? I didn't see that. Honey, Yolanda Adams is my friend. Uh huh. What happened? Yolanda Adams is my friend. Uh huh. The, that's the table. Let her know, Yolanda Adams is my friend. Uh-huh. You're not gonna get up here and slag her up under the bus like that. <laughs> I like Yolanda. I ain't saying nothing about Yolanda. I'm Adams. talking about that's what table. I mean, oh, uh, oh. a, a, a tamarind hand. Let her. Oh, Yolanda oh. Adams is my friend. Oh, that's what she told Kim. Honey got up there and tried to let the girls and, and tried to let the girls. Uh, oh, I got to dig that clip up. Tried to see <laughs> the tamarind wasn't playing with motherfucker. Oh, I got to look that up. Bitch threw her. Up, tried to throw um Yolanda them up on the bus. What was she trying to say about Yolanda? How did it? You know, it was very much so, girl. Like that she Kim is a bit of woman. That she threw that that they threw her. Uh, every, all of them felt the way she felt about the fig, the fagos, but she was the only one that had the nerve, the gut. Girl, girl, phone right there. Look it up, girl. Let me look it up. You ain't said nothing but a word. They say Tamara snatched Kim back in her place. Y'all know I watch shit that go on with Kimberly. Y'all know I'm favor her. <laughs> Y'all already know that. I ain't liked her motherfucking ass ever since that book. Ever since for Sunday's best. When I used to watch Sunday's best, I said, this a nasty motherfucking hoe right here. Yes, she is. This a nasty, evil, mean-spirited bitch right here. And this, and that's them the type of motherfucking hoes that made me didn't want to go to church no more. Gave me a, a, a she got a Tabitha spirit on her. Tabitha. You know, it ain't Tabitha. It's Tabitha. <laughs> she got these big ass glasses on here. Yeah. Girl, I'm gonna have to look at this later. She got a C, Craig. Um, to what I was speaking to first. Thank you for allowing oh, me, me to come me, on. Me, me. Okay, so some of the audience not laughing, some are. That was the reaction at the church. Some people laughed, some people didn't. Social media, these were some of the comments, Kim. And this is why people don't go to church. There was no Jesus in this. How are you going to preach the word and put people down at the same time? That's not righteous. Hallelujah. How do you feel now? How do I feel now? Today. I feel great. Why? Uh, because my intent um, to what I was speaking to first, thank you for allowing me to come on and asking me to come on. Of course. And uh, oh, taking into consideration you that there's me. always more than one side. Um, there's a jargon that happens in church that the charismatic black church, there's a lingo. And um, 
certain things we say that we fully understand, which it almost feel, feels like when you see those cameras in church now, it's an intrusion upon that because for those who don't understand it, they're going to misinterpret what it means. No, nobody you know, misinterpret nobody shit. misinterprets what you do. Long, uh, been, I've held on to my faith too long to deliberately hurt people. I'm not in any way mentally, spiritually, physically challenged to the degree that I have to choose people to be mean to. So overall, when you have more than one person giving their opinion about one other person, the majority probably is going to win. A lot of people get on the bandwagon. And so when you ask me, how do I feel? Um, do you mean about my words now or about how it made people feel? You know what the fuck she mean? Now. About your I feel the same way I felt that night. My intentions were pure. I was making an analogy. Actually, I was honoring the pastor about being there. And I was making an analogy about his personality. I just didn't word it to whereas they would understand it. Were Which you is, riffing? Was, it, was that ad-libbed? Or were, did you know you were going to say that when you went on the... It was completely ad-libbed. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have a plan to... Uh, Talk to a certain thing. It was a, it was a form of encouragement, is what it was. To those who could hear in here and that way, there are some people who go, "You telling people not to live in a trailer home?" That's not what I said. I I compared a trailer home to mansion living. I, it was metaphorically speaking. Everybody wanted to turn my words into accusing people that if you have a, a certain kind of financial status, that I was speaking against that, which is so far from the truth. You're gonna have to see her pull her together. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and get that. You have to watch the whole the rest of the clip. <laughs> but bitch, she's nasty. Very so nasty, so rude. Right. Nephew's a nasty bitch. <laughs> That's what Yama said. But let me tell you something, right? That's those church people are like that are so conditioned mm -hmm. to do that. And that's that's that it's embedded some bitch yeah. passed that to her. Yeah, yeah. Some church bitch passed that shit to her. Mm -hmm. And she 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 walks around with that way because she's seen another church bitch doing that. Mm -hmm. And they think that they they are in this righteous place or this 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 place of of, of holier than thou place. Right, right. And that their seat is so secure in the heavenly gates. You, you right, get what I'm saying? Not. And again, I'm gonna go back to say the very elite gonna be battling about the mark of the beast that's gonna miss the rap the very elite that's what the book says since we are talking according to the book see i ain't even over here bitch y'all already done condemn me so i'm gonna be looking up <laughs> while y'all coming down <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be looking up getting the grease ready come on girl you might as well ate that pussy live bitch you won't you in here anyway stir the pot <laughs> come on girl <laughs> come on down here girl it's hot Okay. <laughs> Come on here, suck up some of this heat, bitch. It's like that's, a sauna. That's right. Here. <laughs> Bring your big ass on down here, suck up some of this heat. You don't need no Ozempic or nothing down here. <laughs> bitch, you don't even need no wig. Come on down here, girl. You don't even need no what? Girl. You don't even need no wig, bitch. Come on down here, girl. Yeah, because that glue ain't going to stay that on. That glue ain't going to stay on, girl. Come on down here. <laughs> <laughs> the very elite. Okay. We look, I'll be looking up. Wait. Come on down, girl. Come on here with the pump. Bitch, we, we in here dancing. Girl, they, we not here dancing and Jay setting and shit. Jet setting, girl. High kicking, splitting, sucking dick. <laughs> oh, God. Sucking eternal dicks. They got a little fire on them, but come on here. <laughs> okay. It may burn a little. It may burn going down, but come on here. We girl, do. Girl, our reporter sent us the uh, clip, girl. I can call you. I would have much preferred, especially dealing with gospel, uh, Yolanda Adams, who we're both from Houston, Texas, to pick up a cell phone and say, hey, I have a career to save, and I can't agree with your stance right now. I need to say something different to my public. So i rather, I, I would have preferred that to call to say, we've been in the gospel game too long together, and this is negative. This is this looks really, really bad. So I'm not gonna be able to affiliate with you. I was I would have respected it and said, hey, do what you gotta do, but at least we have an understanding. Well, I mean, and let me be clear here, Delana is a friend of mine as well. Good. Well, I am also from Texas. Oh, okay. And I did not want to turn this into a because I don't know what happened behind the scenes. When I was asking if you wanted more time for it, you said there was more of a backstory to what you said on the pulpit, not the interpersonal relationships of two people that you're now here with me and another person I care about.
bitch. Right. Don't bring her up. Don't try to come on my motherfucking show and throw her up under there because I asked you before that you have a backstory that you want to tell without using it. Don't come up here trying to throw that girl up under the bus. Like right. That. She ain't got no friends. <clears throat> That's a lonely, bitter, evil woman. 